Hey everyone, so today uh, we're back with more Abus Padlocks. This is the 8345 Series 2. Uh, pretty cool little lock. Has some unusual features. One is what this special uh, logo for the Series 2 refers to, and that is uh, what Abus calls the Z-Bar, which is a small part that is field replaceable uh, to convert the lock between key retaining and non-retaining. And it's really all you need is a uh, the key, a screwdriver, and maybe a pair of tweezers. And that's all you have to do to change between the, the two different modes of operation. Uh, the other thing is that these locks have uh, a variety of cores that are available for them, different keyways, pretty much all of them with only one or two exceptions allow you to even change between five or six pin operation. Uh, and they are specifically designed to make it very easy for uh, you to uh, rekey them. Uh, now this one is the number 300 core, which is a uh, Schlage C keyway or the SC1 keyway, uh, because that's what I had on hand, and it's probably the most common version of this lock, at least uh, in the U.S. in common in major retailers. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my uh, thicker uh, Peterson pry bar, get that seated in top of the keyway, and use my little flat tipped hook here. And we're going to just start working our way along, trying to find the binding pin. Okay, that was number three we just set. Now, okay, I think that was number four, number five. Uh, this is number six. And we'll go way back to the front. And number one is binding pretty well. Okay, number one was the gatekeeper, so we've got a good false set going. So we have to really, really be careful about very light tension here. Uh, this is number two. And we're open. So that was nice, quick, and easy. Uh, so we're going to get this thing out of the vise, get that out of the way. Uh, and now we're going to see what we can do with uh, now that we have it open. So if you look down here, and I can get the light on it, uh, you can just make out there's a Phillips head screw at the bottom of the shackle hole there, along with one of the ball bearings, because this is a uh, ball bearing uh, shackle. And if we just take that, the uh, core comes right out, and hopefully the light isn't too bright. Uh, this little bit right here is the Z-bar, and it just lifts right off. So there it is. That's the Z-bar. Uh, black dot versus red dot is the way they distinguish the two versions of it between the Series 1 and the Series 2. Uh, now here's the other thing. In order to uh, rekey this, you don't need to uh, pull this C clip off, uh, put in a plug follower, rip the whole thing apart, you know, like you'd normally do. All you need is the key. Come on, there we go. Stick the key in, and if you flip it over, you've got this little detent pin, spring loaded. You just push that in. And you can now rotate the core back the opposite direction that you would normally do to open it. And there are all of the pins, or all the key pins anyway. And you can just either dump them out, or if you just want to change one or two pins, you can just reach in there with a pair of tweezers and pull these guys out. When you're done, just make sure that they're all seated and that it works correctly. You know, and then lock it back up, turn it back to the unlock position. Uh, if you want to uh, have it be key retaining, you need to stick the Z bar back on the end uh, with the dot facing away from the core. And what you do is you just put the thin bit in the middle of the Z-bar between the two 
uh, posts on the back. Then we're just going to go stick that back into the lock. There we go. And oh, good, I didn't lose the screw. Screw it back in and lock it up. And now we've got our potentially rekeyed lock. So, pretty cool, pretty fun, and you can find these pretty cheaply. And all you need to do to uh, get these working is, in most cases, these will be sold uh, intended for uh, a locksmith to set them up for you. So a lot of them that you'll find uh, are going to be what's called zero-bitted. So they're just going to come with a blank key. Uh, and you're going to have to have a pin kit. But uh, for if you get a Schlage core, Schlage keys and uh, pin sets are pretty cheap and easy to find, uh, even through normal retail. So, uh, pretty cool lock and a good pick. Now, until next time, happy picking and have fun.